everybody, it's Lauren. This is my Weber weekly update. Gotta get into it. Testing, testing. Can you hear the dishwasher? Hi everybody, it's Lauren and Hi everybody, it's Lauren and this is my Weber weekly update. This last weekend, I had a fun little getaway. I went to Solvang. I don't know if I've ever been there before. If I have, it was when I was little, never in my adult life, but super cute town. Uh, we took advantage of stopping off in Santa Barbara on the way up and all the way down. And um, one of my favorite things that we did was stop at Ostrich Land. Didn't know it existed, saw it on the drive. Uh, you pay $5 to go in and you can pay $1 to get food and feed them. Uh, we went first thing when they opened, so they were nice and hungry, and it was just very, very intriguing. They are like, I don't know, they eat like this. <laughs> They're a little aggressive. Um, they hiss, and they're huge, but I don't know. I thought I would share that because that was fun. And of course, I want to talk about real estate. Today, I wanted to share about selling to buy your next house. So there are homeowners who need to first sell their home in order to have the funds from that sale to put as their down payment for the next house they're, bu they're buying. It can be done, there's a lot of moving parts, but today I wanted to talk about three main options and three most common ways that I am seeing my clients uh, go through this process. So let's go through them. Option number one, you can stay in your house write offers and make it contingent on you selling your home. Um, what that means is you go through the whole normal process, you do your inspections, you get your loan approved, um, and you have a certain amount of time, either 17 days or maybe the whole duration of the entire contract where you are protected until your house sells. So if for any reason the house doesn't sell, it falls out of escrow, you can then back out of that deal. Now, what does that mean? That means you are protected in the purchase of your home until you release the contingency on are very confident that the house that you're selling is going to close or does close. Now, in today's competitive market, that may not be the best or strongest offer, especially if you're in a pile of multiple offers. Um, so what I am seeing some clients do is negotiate a lease back and then they could have their funds to write a non-contingent offer. So let's talk about that. What is a lease back? If you put your house on the market and if you have multiple offers, we can maybe find a buyer who's willing to rent you your home after the close of escrow. Now, if you're getting a loan, or if that buyer has a loan, the lot amount of time is 60 days. So you would have 60 days to lease back your home um, and then move out and move into your new home. So what does that mean as far as like our whole timeline goes? Typically an escrow is about 30 to 45 days. So buy it, you sell your, put your house on the market, find a buyer who's willing to lease it back. You close on day 30. Then you then have two more months to find a house and then close that escrow and move into that house. Because escrow is another 30 days, what that looks like more um, realistically is a whole month to find a house. Now that is definitely doable. And anytime my clients go offer or they choose to do the lease back way, they always find a house within the lot of time amount given to them um, but for those that aren't comfortable with feeling like they need to find a home within one to two months because you can st start looking when you're in escrow um, you could do option number three which is move out and rent another place a temporary place until you find your new place so um, the really great thing about compass concierge which i had mentioned before is that they will cover that rental so whether you need to put your stuff in storage unit they'll cover that cost or if you're getting a temporary month-to-month -month rental um, 
they will cover those costs for you. So there's many ways, many options. These are just a few. Uh, if you have qu any questions, feel free to ask me and I would be happy to answer them. I hope you learned something. It's a lot of information, a lot of moving parts. I didn't say ducks in a row, so let's go for it. Gotta get all the ducks in a row, but once you do, <laughs> totally doable and I'm here to help you. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.